Hello, we are here with Marius. You might know him from uh, the podcast I did with him like two months ago. And uh, now we are at his actual farm over there. So, hi Marius. Hello, welcome Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you. Could you please uh, take, uh, take us on a to tour to your farm? Yeah, of course. I'm uh, glad to do that. So this is just a viewing window where uh, we, uh, when we have people visiting. You do, we normally we don't want them inside the factory, but for you we will make an exception, so you can. Uh, you. Of course, since you're uh, staying here for your uh, trainee period as well. Yeah, well, I'm actually working here right now. Yeah, it's great. So then we can just uh, walk through here. So we can take it uh, actually step by step during the production process as well, so you can see everything. So hygiene. First, yeah. starting with uh, gloves. So, we use a lot of gloves there. Yeah. All right. Could you please hold it? Yeah, of course. Thank you. You want that as a film? <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, we can just go straight here so the first part of the production that would be the seedling yeah. so here we have the uh, the seedling table uh, now we actually have invested as I told you in the podcast we have invested in the seedling machine and we are working on robotizing this everything about the seedling and the transplant but it's still manually so I'll just show you louder yeah yeah okay yeah so but I'll, I'll show you anyway uh, so first part is that we uh, we put uh, rock wool in uh, acid water okay so we have uh, wat water that we have adjusted the pH okay. to a level that uh, we have found suitable uh-huh why is it acidic though uh, we call it acid bath because it's uh, we use um, we use the pH minus to uh, to lower the pH because the the rock wool cubes are really uh, they have high pH. Oh, they are alkalic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we use the pH minus to get it down before we put them in the system, or else they will uh, mess up everything with the adjustment of the water because it's yeah. so many of them. Yeah. So we just leave them in uh, soaking. Yeah. So uh, everything is good and wet. Yeah. And the uh, pH is suitable for the production. Okay. And then we move it here to the table and then we would manually drop one seed in each hole. That's it. And we will spray them with water. Yeah. Like that. And uh, now this is uh, halfly done. So that's why they have put it like this uh, and written everything. And then we will uh, uh, use a knife and yeah. cut the rock wall. Yeah. And we will put the rock wool cubes in cups. So we call that cupping. And then we will put it in a pallet for uh, uh, germination. Yeah. And they will stay here for approximately three days until they are, let's say, one centimeter or something. So the root have gotten stuck and all good. After that, we remove it to the uh, propagation uh, racks. So there we just we have uh, four propagation racks, and we have uh, the top shelf in all the racks is also for propagation. Okay. So then we leave it here, and you can yeah you can see these are seed the end of last week, so it grows quite fast, and they will stay there for around twenty to twenty five days, okay. approximately. And when they are finished here, I don't see if we have anyone finished to show you because uh, I think you and the rest of the team uh, did a good job today with our uh, yeah, the... transplanting. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, we put that out in the, in the racks. So I guess it's this, the someone I put out today, I guess. No. Uh, or the rack. No, 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 no. There. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, let's just uh, look at this. This is a suitable size to transplant. Yeah. Uh, 
so then we transplant it, put it here uh -huh. in the nutrient uh, water. Yeah. Getting watered every 30 minutes okay. for three minutes approximately. And the uh, water goes to the main water reservoir. And then we will just leave it uh, until they are done. And uh, in a perfect world, this part should take around 12 days. Uh, we are more or less in 15 to 20. Okay. It's a little bit different. It's different where in the factory we are, which rack, which floor. It's actually quite a huge difference. Okay. So uh, here we have someone that is uh, that we have left behind. Yeah. The rest have been harvested today. Uh, we have in total 22 racks here. That we uh, we have a system where we have them in in different stages. So we we are supposed to have one rack, at least one one and a half rack every day to harvest. Uh, now we are in a phase where we have cleaned down everything. Yeah. Uh, we are treating all the plants with uh, soap and water, uh, like a, a what's it called? Biology, um, sorry, organic treatment. Okay. Uh, to give them a boost, to clean them, uh, make sure no pests, uh, no uh, what's it called? Pests. Yeah. Yeah. Illness. Like the animals, yeah, the the aphid, yeah, like uh, lice, and yeah, lice. and uh, uh -huh. mush, uh, fungus, all yeah. these things. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, pin it down, and uh, during the process here, we will every other day we will uh, we will take out six salads from each rack and do a average weight of them, so we can uh, monitorize the growth, and we can also monitorize then the numbers, how much. Uh, will they add in weight every day how much is the value of the salads in the rack and how is this increasing and and uh, to monetize the difference from let's say this rack to this rack and that can, can be actually a really big difference just in a few meters because of the climate in the in the factory and because of the light uh, and yeah a lot of different things so when uh, they are uh, finished we will uh, harvest them, and that's a manual process. We harvest them in the black lids here, working from a, a, a lift. Thank you. And then we will r move over to the packing room. So then it will arrive here in the packing line, and we will have two people. I will show you, we actually received a new machine today that we will implement soon, yeah. So, but for now it will be two teams with in total four people that will be here sorting the salad, weighing it into the into the boxes that we use for the salad. We take them, 150 grams, and send it through the packing machine. And uh, it will, we have two options for uh, emballage actually. We have the, it will c come out here and, we, and the machine here will stick uh, automatically the stickers on when it's finished with uh, today's date. Yeah. And then they will collect on the table here. And we have two options uh, of uh, how to pack it. For now, we are using the plastic. Uh, Recyclable, recyclable boxes. Yeah. So we ship it out, and the the customer receive it. Mm -hmm. They take the salad, and they ship this back to the uh, company that own them. And we just pay a rent fee. The other option is that we have uh, uh, paper boxes. This is a machine that assembles them for us. Yeah. So then we'll just put a stack of flat paper here, and they will come out a uh, uh, cart cartridge box. Yeah, cardboard here. box. Cardboard box, yeah, here. We will just take it, yeah. pack the salad, and then we can send it through this uh, line afterwards, and then it will tape the lid on it. Mm. But that's not a so environmental with the cardboard boxes, so we, are, we, are, we want to use the, the plastic reusable mm -hmm. uh, emballage. Yeah. So, and then when harvesting is finished, then we have the empty cup. That we have, we have taken out the uh, rock wool and the salad. 
split them, and then we have the cup, and then we have a cleaning line here, where we would send those cups to uh, um, steamer, so it will uh, boil them with uh, boiling water, so we can kill all bacteria, and it will come back to the production line in inside. Yeah, and this is the new uh, newest baby. We haven't actually. I bought this used, so we have it. It arrived today. So the point with this, it will be placed something like this, and we will adjust what uh, range we are packing the salad. So instead of four people standing there weighing the salad, we will just have two persons, mm -hmm. and they will put in the box what they think is 150 grams. And just send it through the machine, yeah. and the machine will leave it on this board, and it's a photo sensor, so it will just go here. If it's 150, it will pass, if it's under or over, this will uh, take it away and send it back to the packing line. Okay. With more of these uh, different belts. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, maybe next week or the other week, uh, or the week after, we will be able to install this and uh, do a test run and cool. maybe implement it. I plan the plan is to implement finish before now in the qu uh, first quarter of twenty five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and when we are finished, we have the forklift. The salad is from uh, pallets, and we uh, drive it outside in the uh, cold uh, cooling container and uh, leaving it there. And every afternoon, every evening, every night, the logistics company come and collect what they are supposed to collect regarding what kind of uh, route they are driving. So one car for the nearest area, one car for south, one car for south, middle of Norway, one car for north, one for Northern Norway, yeah, yeah. So it's a huge logistic uh, job, but luckily we have uh, good partners in that. Cool, cool. How often do you spray the the soap water? Yeah, this is the first time actually. Like at all? Like yeah. Oh, this is the first time we have tried that. First time in this factory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But they say that it's good to do it uh, occasionally. Maybe we are. We have planned to do it every month from now. In the beginning, now maybe once a week, and when everything is uh, running smoothly, maybe once a month or something. And you said, uh, how fast does the salad grow out when it's transplanted into the normal rack? Fifteen to twenty days, approximately. That is fast. No, it should be twelve days. Really? Yeah. Like so from, from from this seedling to a normal cell? No, it should be like this before we place it in the growth rack. So it should be, uh, the, f the, f the, f the first three phases should be done. So it should be only the, uh, the growing phase and the mature phase in the huge racks, the big racks, yeah. Okay. So. Do you some biological pest control? No. No? Not at this point. Yeah, we have, no, not biological. We had organic pest control this time, uh, but that's also the first time. We had some, uh, some green lice, lice that came. So we, we find some uh, organic stuff that we have tried. Okay. Um, now we're trying with soap and water. Yeah. Well, we won't use any um, uh, pesticide from uh, chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Thank you for the tour. Yeah, of course. <laughs>